Sure, sure. No, I, I've got this. No, okay. you have to Oh, I have to use suit. this as well. Both. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Hi, thanks for uh, sticking with uh, us until the end, so uh, I won't uh, take too much of your time. Um, so I'll just introduce a little bit about uh, myself, what I do, and then you know, she mentioned something about Channel News Asia. You know, so I'll do a little bit of a plug uh, for that as well. So I'm a venture capital uh, person. I've been doing this for the last uh, five, almost six years in Singapore. So I've been in, I'm from Taiwan, but I've been in Singapore for about almost 10 years. Uh, I was working for some of the, you know, uh, banks and, and large companies, you know, some of the names have been mentioned before. Uh, so I bounced, bounced around a little bit and then finally ended up in venture capital. So for me, my, you know, my story into VC and looking at startups was actually more of a realization, which is kind of going a little bit to what Christina mentioned before, of like, hey, I actually hated working in big companies. I mean, I'll just be honest, you know, I was working at some of the companies in here in the US and I just like, I, I just, you know, it wasn't really what I like. So, because I discovered that whenever I get back after a long day at work, I still, for, for me, if I have a couple minutes, I still spend a little bit of time on stuff that I like, which is actually like gadgets and stuff. So, I mean, you know, being a guy, all that stuff. So, I like, I like gadgets, I like tech. And, you know, I've been playing around with that stuff, uh, you know, all my life. My parents will tell you, like, hey, as a kid, I like to take stuff apart. And I just enjoy playing around with that. And I think, uh, you know, I guess we never change. I'm still a kid in some sense. So I figured that, hey, that's what I like to do. But I actually like finance. I actually like investing. So that's kind of the road that I got, you know, that got me into VC because I play around with tech all day. And then I get to invest uh, money. So that's what I do. Um, a little bit more about what I uh, look at, so which is a little bit different than some of the speakers uh, earlier. Uh, I focus a lot more on the consumer side. So these are the things that probably, you know, you guys maybe have seen or heard or maybe even use. So things like uh, Grab, you know, things like, uh, you know, uh, let's see, Tokopedia in Indonesia, you know, it's a C2C. It's kind of like Carousel. I don't know many of, maybe you've heard of Carousel. So those kinds of companies are m some of the ones that I look at uh, more frequently. So things that I guess you and I and, you know, things I can explain to my parents or my grandma and maybe they'll hear about it. Uh, so a little bit less on the enterprise side. So that's what I typically look at. I invest in Southeast Asia. I've invested in about uh, 30, 30-ish, almost 40 companies so far. And uh, you know, they've kind of went on and grown in Southeast Asia. Some of them got bought out uh, and, and so on and so forth. So uh, that's a little bit about uh, what I look at. And then I think uh, one of Christina's uh, uh, question for me, uh, and in case any one of you is interested in this whole startup and pitching all that, um, you know, what I typically get about probably a thousand or so pitches. Uh, this is a year, so don't worry. It's not like you know per month or anything. So I get about a thousand pitches or so a year. So you know that means what I have to do. I have to like you know I can't look at all that stuff all day and all night long because I can't do my job right or help <laughs> the companies that I invested in. So I have to have a very efficient way to sort through all that stuff. Um, so one of the things I like to mention to some of the people that uh, I work with is that, hey, actually our acceptance rate is uh, actually lower than getting into like Harvard or Stanford or some of these like colleges, or, or literally is less than like 2.5% in case you're wondering. That's the acceptance rate for uh, uh, Stanford. So we have to be super, super selective um, in terms of looking at the pitch. Um, and, and some of the elements uh, the previous speaker I mentioned about is, you know, hey, are you looking at a really big market? Can this business really scale? You know, how good is the team and things of that nature? Um, you know, and seriously, like we get all sorts of ideas. Uh, so some people, many people ask me like, hey, is idea like the most important thing? If I have a great idea, like, you know, should I just keep it to myself? And, you know, it's like a secret thing. And you, you, if someone wants to ask me about the idea, they have to sign some legal document or anything like that before I can tell them all the details because that's my secret sauce. And, you know, if I tell you and then like everyone will copy and then, you know, blah, blah, blah. So, so I get that all the time. Um, my, my response to that usually is don't worry uh, because a couple of things. One. If your idea is so easily copied by other people by just listening to you talk for a couple of minutes, you probably have to rethink the idea. <laughs> probably, right? I mean, you know, so, so for example, let's, let's take the example of like Grab or Uber, right? Like the idea may see, sound simple now, but more than 10 years ago when they started, everyone thought they were crazy, right? Like, 
Huh? What? What are you talking about? Like, why would I drive around and pick up strangers I don't know? <laughs> right? This is 10 years ago. Right? But now, you're like, oh yeah, of course, you know, there's all sorts of like, you know, ride hailing, and, and now you see taxi companies, SMRT, all these guys trying to do something similar. But again, back then, everyone thought it was crazy, right? So actually, some of these guys who started all these companies did the exact opposite. They went around to as many people as they can and shared their idea. Hey, what do you think about this idea? What do you think about that idea? You know, blah, 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 blah. And like, oh, okay, get feedback, right? So they get a ton of feedback, which helped them to fix their idea and improve upon their idea, right? But again, idea is just one element, right? The other stuff that was mentioned is the team, right? Which actually, to me, team also means like, can you really get the stuff done? Right? I think some of the earlier comments was, yeah, you can think all, all day, all along, you, you know, you can collect all the data and like have all these like Excel spreadsheet, blah, 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 but if you don't do anything about it, no one cares because it's never done. Right? So it's the same exact concept here. Right? Like to be on, like seriously, there, I've probably seen maybe more than like 50 or 60 just in Singapore. Like ideas exactly just like Uber or Grab, exactly. And they have all the same ideas. All right, down to all the details because it's easy because they could just copy Uber, right? Uber has been doing it for a couple of years. So you just copy, copy Uber. But again, why does certain companies succeed where other, others fail, especially when the model has already been successful somewhere else? It comes down to how well can the team get the stuff done, all right? So I think if any of you, right, are, are, are keen in getting into the startup world um, and wanted to give this a shot, uh, you know, don't worry too much about your idea. And in fact, I would encourage you to talk to as many people as you can and get as many advice as you can before you jump into it, right? And then the other is, okay, as, as also mentioned, you know, find a good uh, uh, team member because you can't do everything yourself. I mean, just don't try, right? <laughs> it's, it's not the most fun thing in the world. So for me, for example, right, I, yeah, I'm a VC, but I also consider myself a startup because this is a, uh, you know, my own fund that I launched with a partner of mine, right? So we've been like struggling. I came from, other, you know, way bigger companies in the past. Uh, I was work I, actually I was working for uh, uh, Temasek in Singapore, right? So I was coming from a completely different background where if I had some problem with my computer, right, I just call someone and someone will come and fix it, right? Now I have to fix everything myself, <laughs> right? I have to fix everything in myself. I have to even build our own website, right? Like stuff like that. Where if you're in big company, you don't have to think about these things. Right? You don't have to go like, oh, I have to remember to file my own ACRA filings and all that stuff if I change my address. Right? Like, I never had to think about stuff like that. Right? And if you try to do it by yourself, you know, just, just don't. It, it's extremely, extremely difficult. Um, find, ideally, one, if not you know, more than one, people who can help you in different ways. All right? So let's say, okay, if you're really good with numbers, maybe you want to find someone who's really good at marketing. Right? Or find someone who's really good at a certain industry that you're thinking of uh, attacking. Right? So you have complementary skills because there's, it's impossible for one person to do everything. Just impossible. So the VCs, investors, will take a look at that, especially in the early stage when you only have like a piece of paper. Right? Oh, this is what I think of, you know, I want to do. Then there's really nothing to evaluate except for what you have done in the past and perhaps the team that you can rally around you. So that would probably be my very quick five minutes. It's up, right? Okay, five minutes, yes. Uh, <laughs> advice to any of you who's thinking about stepping into this thing. But it's a great time to, to get in. Uh, there's all sorts of uh, funding and grants and everything that's available. You know, very lucky uh, to have that uh, system here in Singapore to support uh, startups. Uh, so if any of you are thinking about it or even just curious about how to go about uh, launching a startup, you know, happy to hear to, uh, to talk. All right, thanks. Thank you. Thank you.